good YouTube welcome back to the channel guys welcome to my massive warehouse that we just moved it just kidding it's my garage just my tiny old garage that is doing the trick just fine for right now uh, banging up some orders here um, if you guys haven't checked these out these are our, these are our uh, that's kind of hard to say this these are our new bracelets come on focus anyways these are the new nail bracelets they're genuine leather a magnetic clasp on the bottom here it's extremely strong and durable uh, so they will not break as far as the magnetic strips if you pull this apart on the top this I mean it'll break but it's all stainless steel and then I don't know if you can see it or not but our logo is engraved yeah you can't really see it. it's too dark right now but right on the nail head here our logo the cross logo is engraved which is uh, super cool Super dope nail. Absolutely love these. And these have been selling like crazy. Um, coming out with some new colors before Black Friday. Um, well, I hope the new color comes before Black Friday. If it doesn't, it'll be here by Christmas, that's for sure. Um, so we got triple black, rose gold, and I got silver coming. Um, but yeah, I'm just fulfilling some orders right now in the garage before I head out for the day. Anyways, hopefully your guys' day is going great so far. God is good, he is great. It is a beautiful morning here in Minnesota, even though it's like 36 degrees out. Um, yeah, 36 degrees in October, it's just, it's crazy, man. Yeah, so all of our packages, I don't know if you can see it, they're bubble wrapped for the bracelets anyway. I need to cover up that information. But this is all bubble wrapped, so it's very secure. Um, so when you order with three nails, we take our customer service very seriously and the shipping and packaging, we want to make sure that everything's safe. Last order for the day, this is the medium performance tank. Every single order, give out these thank you cards with a, a personalized message from myself that yes, I did come up by myself on that. Um, just a personalized touch. It's all about the experience that you get. Paying for a premium product, you should get a premium experience. Even though it's shipped out from my garage. I'm gonna go bring this tub over to the USPS over here and get these shipped out today. Um, yeah, got the truck over here getting warmed up. I'm gonna go grab Daxon and get the day started here. But in today's video or today's vlog, I wanna show you how I went from athlete to entrepreneur. Kinda give you more of my backstory of how I was an athlete. Uh, what that meant to me back in the day, how uh, that was literally all that I was and all that I thought I was going to be, um, and then how that transferred over to being in business, being a business owner, being an entrepreneur, um, and essentially running Three Nails Clothing out of my garage, out of my house, out of coffee shops, whatever it takes to get the work done. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's vlog. Sick. Yo, show the people the truck, man. You want to go see the truck? <laughs> I'm just playing. Oki, just got a new truck. Congrats to the homie. Thanks, bro. Congrats. It's been a long time coming. Sure has. Let me tell you. And to take care of that truck, go get you some Adams polish. <laughs> your cleaner. But, uh, you know, we have like, what, three weeks? But yeah, three weeks to Black Friday, right? Yeah. I think that's what it is. Three weeks or four weeks, whatever it is. Bro, oh, yeah. you know it's so, hard to pull up, right? Yeah, I hope so, man. Alrighty, guys. So, we're back at home here. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this. Obviously, the title of this video, I'm just basically going to explain a little bit about uh, my journey of coming from being an athlete to becoming an entrepreneur. Either last video or the video before that one, I previously stated that I was a college athlete, I played basketball in college. Um, my whole childhood, as I said this before, my whole childhood was wrapped up in basketball. And my parents, um, like, they used their money to, to pay for me to play basketball. I come from a very humble family, a very humble home. My, my family, we never went to the lake. Um, we didn't do a whole lot. We, you know, I didn't really go fishing too much or anything. Um, I play basketball and I wouldn't change a thing. It made me into the man that I am today. Uh, the mindset, the competitive spirit, um, 
everything revolving of becoming an athlete. And if you're an athlete, you would know what I'm talking about. It changes everything. Um, just that killer instinct that you learn from becoming an athlete, you know, team camaraderie, knowing that you can't do everything by yourself. Um, you know, boxing, you know, you're on your own, right? But a, a sport like basketball, which I played, you have to rely on your team. Everybody has a role on the team. You know, I was a point guard, so I was the general of the court, ball handling, passing, uh, shooting went open, but uh, that was my job, that was my role. Uh, so I learned a lot from doing that. But with that being said, uh, when college ended, um, you know, I essentially, <laughs> essentially got like my third concussion, sprained my ankle, and this is like really, like I had so many injuries in college, shin, ankles and everything, but I like sprained the same ankle like three times within like three months. And my doctor was just like, you know man, you just gotta, you just gotta relax, take a year off, whatever, and just kind of call it quits for right now. And it was tough to swallow when those injuries happened. Um, it kind of hurt my dreams of continue to train to go play overseas professionally. I felt like my whole purpose in life was to be a professional basketball player, whether that was in the NBA, overseas, or wherever. I felt like playing professionally uh, was my purpose in life. Um, and anybody who knows me closely or grew up with me knows that. And everybody thought that I was gonna go play professionally somewhere. Regardless, um, I felt really hopeless. I felt really hopeless and uh, ended up going the corporate route, uh, working at corporate jobs, um, you know, the nine to fives, absolutely hated it. Absolutely hated it. Um, wearing suits every single day to one job, becoming a financial advisor downtown. It, um, yeah, just, it wasn't for me, it wasn't the life for me. Um, and I wanna state that not everybody's called to be an entrepreneur in life, but uh, you have to love what you do. And I just know for me, being self-aware, I'm not an employee. I just, I, it's not who I am. I want to uh, not only be my own boss to control my life and live life on my own terms, but I want to be able to um, work on work on my own dreams, build my own future, build my own legacy, if you will, for my children and my children's children. Um, wake up and uh, work on the dreams that you want to work on, something that you're passionate about. Um, so starting out with three nails it was just an idea in my head i wanted to create something that um you know was applicable to my lifestyle I was super into fitness um love fashion love uh you know gym wear sports wear clothing active wear if you will um there's never there's never something that i wanted to wear though uh there was always you know fitness brands out there but I wanted to wear a Christian-based activewear company or a sportswear company uh, that wasn't cheesy, you know, something that was super clean, minimalist, that had a premium feel or a higher-end feel to it, uh, but still obviously an affordable option. You know, I don't want to spend 100 bucks or $130 on a pair of joggers. So that idea resonated inside of me, you know, for, for years to come, and I never just, I never pulled the trigger on it. I always kept coming back to it. I knew that God had something planned for my life. I just didn't know what it was. Uh, long story short, I ended up meeting up with a buddy of mine and went and got sushi. We were just talking about it. And, um, you know, I made a decision that day. I'm like, I'm going to stop procrastinating. I'm just going to do it. I am going to start three nails. That's what I'm going to do. And I didn't know the name yet either. I had a notebook full of names and I kept coming back to that three nails name. I was like, man, it's so cool. It's subtle. It's powerful. It's meaningful. Um, it's minimalist, it's everything I want it to be. Um, you don't even want to see the notebooks of the names that I had. It was, it was so so terrible. I don't even know some of the names that I came up with. I just can't even imagine now if I would have ever went with that. So I'm really thankful that God gave me this idea of uh, the name being Three Nails. Anyways, moving along here. Three Nails was born. Uh, it's been two years now. Started November 10th of 2017. Uh, you know, we almost have 30,000 followers on Instagram. Um, I think like 5,500 or 6,000 followers on Facebook. A lot harder to grow Facebook than Instagram for some reason. Uh, but Instagram is, is popping. That's where all of our audience hangs out at. Um, it's been so much fun to run an ambassador program to allow people to become a part of this brand and family. 
uh, represent you know God's kingdom, represent the brand, be a part of something bigger than themselves, and be a part of something that's not just another brand. You know, they're able to relate to the message that we're putting out and spreading, you know, God's kingdom, expanding God's kingdom, um, which is something that I'm extremely passionate about. You know, people who uh, come to our brand or first see our brand um, are pretty shocked of it because nobody nobody has seen it yet. You know, it's I wanted to be the first one to do this because I searched for something like this and it wasn't out there yet. Anyways, that's kind of the backstory, guys, just to see how far I've came along uh, the, the adversities and stuff that I faced with um, my wife's health and battling different things with her losing her job and uh, just so many so much stuff going on here to be able to um, take what I've learned from sports you have adversities you have injuries you have different things that happen to you but it's how you handle it it's how you react to it I truly believe in my heart that 10% of life is what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it it's not about what happens to you, it's how you handle what happens to you, how you react. Now God has always provided for us, no matter what, no matter what happens in life, no matter what we've gone through, God has always provided for us and we are gonna remain in trust in Him and be faithful to Him because at the end of the day, you know what, three nails isn't my source. Family, friends, relatives, they're not your source. God is your only source. When you rest and you let God do His part, He takes over. Um, so. Anyways, I just wanted to explain a little bit about me from becoming an athlete or from being an athlete to becoming an entrepreneur. Um, that athlete's mindset, the killer instinct, the competitive drive, the, the team camaraderie of building a brand, building a team around the brand, um, you know, transferring that corporate vision to your employees or whoever's working with you um, to carry that out. And um, you know, that's something that I'll always be grateful for, grateful towards that I was uh, given that ability to learn that mindset at such a young age and that was my whole life and has really prepared me for what I'm going through now uh, with you know doing this business and I'm not gonna make this any longer than it needs to be uh, this is who I am I was an athlete before I'm an entrepreneur now it's the same mindset that carried and transferred from being an athlete to an entrepreneur um, I absolutely love what I do I absolutely love three nails with a passion um, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, go to 3 Go check out some stuff. We have like 11 new designs drop in in Black Friday. So uh, definitely stay tuned if there's nothing on the website that you see right now that you like. We'll have a lot more coming up then. So I know this was a quicker vlog today, but I really appreciate you guys watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, click the red box down below and subscribe to the channel today. My name is Derek. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the family. That's it for today, guys. Love you all. God bless. And we'll see you later.